hi NY here welcome to movie court if this is your first time then subscribe and like it this is the home of all reviews as long as it is Nollywood you are in the right place welcome welcome back people so today on the show we're going to be talking about tat too. Yes, I love the name first of all. This is a movie that was directed by Don Omukwe and has a lot of beautiful actors. This is a very old traditional story that I like. It has to do, it's surrounded up around a girl and she has believed she was an orphan for a long time. And just recently she discovered that her mother is alive. She's been having like scary dreams. She has this tattoo, this mark on her chest that she was born with. So she wants to find out how it came about why she has that mark, why she's having scary dreams, who she really is, where she's from. She just wants to know about, you know, her origin basically. And the thing is, in this movie, I like the angle that it brought it from. The fact that she is the Uzeburu. <laughs> I like the bad name, I don't even know what it means, but in this movie it means that she's supposed to be sacrificed when she clocks 21. Shegun and Rinze showed all the other actors what it is to be a veteran. He was eating this, he was eating his lines there. This role, it was as if he's been a chief priest before. Like in real life, this is an amazing role for him and this is such a great comeback. Toy Ayimaku, as always, she's always doing a great job. Saka and, you know, Hafiz Oyetero, of course, always bringing comedy to life and always making the movie fun. Saka and Frank Donga, I really enjoyed that part. Gabriel Afalayan. This is one actor who I've always watched and, you know, seeing him from the Yoruba angle to now English movies, he's just been, you know, I think for this year he's joined my list of favorite actors and then he brings this really funny like he brings this really funny side of him which i really really like oh so yes the cast of this film they did a great job costume was good i think i like where they were going to old traditional um part of the of the story however the makeup was terrible I was really really disappointed especially when I found out who did the makeup who was behind this makeup it was terrible so there's this thing they did here with um, Shegun and Rinze he has this mark or whatever is on his head he has it here and then the next time I saw this was here and I'm like this continuity is bad it's the worst I have said even when you're watching um, Rahama the first time she opens the mark, it's like really dark or like a tattoo. The next time she opens it, it's like really fleshy. I'm like, what happened? Did it get burned? What happened? Why didn't the continuity was really, really bad in this movie? And I feel sad because that one really took me off. That one did not. I didn't like that part at all all it was a no no so there's this scene where apparently her kamani can feel her can you know trace her wherever she is so they're trying to bring her back to the village to get her sacrificed and then moved in with with um, her boyfriend who is Gabriel afolayo and they had intercourse like the scene before the next scene he her kamani knew where she was came to Kunle's, uh, um, Gabriel Afalaya's house and pursued them all. I don't even know what happened. They, sh they saw him, they ran away. Finally, he caught her and took her back to the village. All, everything I'm just telling you now, this is less than two days. Everything happened in less than two days. Let me say they had intercourse yesterday and you know he caught her today. And the next day, which is like the third day, she was about to be sacrificed. And her mother was screaming, oh, oh, don't, don't, you cannot sacrifice my daughter, she's pregnant. I'm like, is that how fast it is to get pregnant? This just happened, it's not even up to a week, people. So the holy mother had artificial nails on all through the movie. I really felt like I, for every time it popped up, like when she's talking and I, every time I see the nails, I was so angry. I'm like, it's just a movie. Can't you bite off those nails? Can't you remove it just to make this movie look perfect? Because for every time I saw it, it was really annoying. You are a nun. I, I, I've not even seen any nun in Nigeria. 
I've not seen anyone in Nigeria who has time to go and fix their nails. So if you're going to do this in a movie and you're going to be a nun, can you please take off those nails? I don't know how they even missed it for everyone that shot this movie. I don't know why no one advised them to take it off. Another part I didn't understand in the movie was the fact that, you know, she was, um, she liked going to the club, so she would sneak entry to go to the club. I, and then one time she was like, oh, I'm late. So I, I was like, is she walking in the club or what's she doing in the club that she's late? You can go to the club around 12 o'clock and still come back. But anyway, apart from all that, this, this is a nice movie. I like the story. I really like traditional like stories because Nollywood is changing and running after some foreign uh, movies that are not running after us. I'm going to give it a 5 over 10 because of you know the cast the story and also the editing it was not choppy and it the flow was really really good so yes if you if you you can go see this movie you know for all the traditional parts of it but just little little mistakes and things that i think that they would have done better and for all the ladies you know who love my hair yes i know you've been staring at it you can go get it from zidara hair premium hair on instagram i'm just going to put like their handle so you can go get it follow them they have really really nice hairs they have really really nice weaves and wigs and what have you <laughs> <laughs> what have you this is a wig by the way it's really really nice so thank you so much for watching you can subscribe and like and also share with your friends catch you guys next time on movie court my name is ny over